welcome back so the first visual that i want to make for my dashboard is to present sales gross profit and net profit in a bar chart where each bar will be reflecting quarters or months of different uh, years all the three years and on the other hand each bar will be having sections that will represent sales the other section will represent gross profit and the third section will represent net profit how do we do that first of all let us add a new sheet in my tableau file and now that we have new sheet the first thing that i need to do is to drag down this date field from here to the column and this will allow me to expand my chart at multiple levels i may like to present that at yearly level or quarter or at monthly level and after that the second thing that i would do is i would drag down the values the measure values for sales so click here and drag it down to this rows column after that let us drag down the gross profit as well and finally let us drag down the net profit as well okay so now that we have all of these three values you know system has by default deployed the line chart i don't want that i want to change this chart so i will click here on show me and i will select this bar chart here which you can see is the bars having sections so i'll click here and now you can see i have my bars which have sections but you will notice one thing and that is uh, these sections you know these sections that have been made here are for different years so the blue one is for 2018 the yellow one is for 2019 and the red one is for 2020 so i don't want that i don't want to you know present the sections based on years so i'll click here and i will remove that and by doing so you know the sections based on year will be removed and now you can see that system has actually made three charts rather than one and i want to merge all of them into one line so for that i will click here on the small triangle i mean i wanted to merge them into one chart so i will click here on the small triangle and i'll drag it down to this axis and you can see that two charts have now come together into one and similarly i will do the same for net profit as well and with that you will see that all of these three values are now coming here into one beautiful chart after that you will also notice that once i drag down the axis you will see that system has added these two fields here measure names and measure values so i will leave the measure values as is you know where we have the three measure values the first one is for sales and then net profit and then gross profit i will leave them as is but now i will drag down this measure names from here and i will drop them on colors here in this tab and once you do that you can see that now system has defined system has distributed my bar into three columns the first job, first part is for sales the second part is for net profit and the third part is for gross profit after that i will also you know i will again bring back my date field that has been lost somewhere so when i remove the date field from here i should have rather dragged down this to the columns but i forgot that no worries i can simply drag down the date field again and now you can see you have three bars one for each year you can quickly expand that to quarters and you can quickly expand that to the months as well so now we have this beautiful bar chart that is representing uh, each bar for a month and then you can see we have the sections uh, this dark blue one is for sales this green one is for net profit and finally this light blue one is for the gross profit if you are not happy with the colors you will click here and you will click here on the color and you will say edit colors and then you can you know for example if i want to change the net profit to yellow i can do that and system will apply yellow on net profit you can see we have the different color for net profit now similarly you can change the color for gross profit and you know uh, for sales as well but i will i will even revert this net profit to green so that you know uh, net profit will look better in green that is quite obvious that you know net profit is the figure that we like so i will prefer that to have that that in green so other than this these colors that you are seeing right now 
you have a complete color uh, grid available so you can select multiple themes from here and then you will have more color options in each theme and you can change the colors as you like so this is the introductory part and you can see we have added this beautiful chart very easily after that i need to do some more things and for that let us click here on this axis and i will say show header and that should be removed altogether i will uncheck that because i don't want to present that axis on my dashboard so i will remove that let's do the similar thing here and i will uncheck show header again and you can see that the header has gone similarly i don't want to see this heading let us remove that i don't want to see these years let us remove that as well and let us remove these quarters as well finally you can see that we have this neat and clean chart now but i want to remove these grid lines as well and for that i will click here on this format and i will say click on lines and in that lines please make sure that these grid lines are none for columns for rows and for sheet as well so now you can see that the rows grid line have been removed but we still have these lines and i want to uh, remove them as well for that i will click here on this other option that is borders and i will go to the column borders and i will say the column divider should also be none and once we have done that you can see that this chart is th these lines have also gone and finally let us click here and edit the title so in this chart i was representing sales and then we have gross profit and then we also have net profit so that is going to be my title and before i uh, close this i'll make sure that is in the branding theme that i'm using so i'll apply this font size as 10 and apply the blue color on this heading as well and let us apply and that should be okay so that is it now you can see that we have this neat and clean chart and i will take that to my dashboard but before i do that let me rename my sheet so i'll rename my sheet as sales gp and np and once we have done that let us move to dashboard let us close this panel and now we should have this sheet to be added to our dashboard let us go to the dashboard tab here and right click and click on add to dashboard and now you can see we have this chart here but of course i need to arrange that so first of all i will click on layout i'll click on this chart and click on layout and then i will click on floating and once i do that you can see that now i can adjust the placement of my chart on my dashboard so i will just fix it and let's leave it like that for now and then once we have added more charts i will come back and finally fix it in a proper final shape so i will just leave this chart uh, for now like that now let us uh, move forward to add the next chart uh, in our next lecture